Lots in theater has seen better days. Lots of work to be done, but I think well worth it. It'll but there's a big encore planned here. So this will all come out and be a full theater production stage. Amy Ryan, executive director of the Benson Theater, started efforts to restore the space in 2012, hoping it could serve the community again through theater, film, concerts, dance, and more. 1923, it was built as a vaudeville theater. Vaudeville in French means voice of the city, which is really great. That's our tagline. Ryan says Opera Omaha, the Omaha Film Festival, and other arts nonprofits already have plans to use the space. As the theater inches toward its fundraising goal, she's hopeful they could open the doors in 2018. We're working really hard to finish this fundraising campaign. Just a couple steps away on Maple Street, a smaller piece of the project is ready for its debut. The B side of the Benson Theater will open this Friday. Though not as spacious as the main hall, it is available for performances and community groups. We've already had so much positive feedback. We have events booked out through November of next year. Ryan says the B-side will fill in the gaps till the full theater opens and provide extra revenue for restoration. Here's some of the original architecture of the theater. Despite the dusty surfaces and bits of disrepair, Ryan sees the beauty here beauty she wants to share with Benson. I think it's it's really important that we just create a shared space so nonprofits can focus on their mission and serve people and we really focus on hosting them. Alexander Stone reporting Dundee Theater opens tomorrow after months of renovations. First showing will be Omaha native Alexander Payne's new movie called Downsizing.